The best part of the retreat for me, um, it's really hard to pick one thing because I've been enjoying like everything about it, but it's the first time in my life I've met anyone else who has neutropenia. So that's really huge because prior to this I had only met people who had neutropenia as a side effect to cancer treatment, to chemo, and that's a very different situation than someone who lives with chronic neutropenia. And I've met people with like my same exact condition. I've met people with like a variety of different types of neutropenia. And that is a very powerful thing. Me is finding out more information about neutropenia and more resources for um, my son. So as he, cause he's 15 now and he's been diagnosed since he was 15 months. It wasn't a lot of information there. And coming to this retreat um, now, it has given us more information in regards to his treatments and things that I didn't know um, a few years ago. Biggest takeaways is knowing that essential oils could be a help. Finding out that sugar, I just found that out this morning, that sugar could be a big factor of knocking the immune system out for a little bit and um, stuff like that. And then um, that there's more um, that I can be able to help. That is my biggest thing. Oh, it's really hard to pick my biggest takeaways from this weekend because it's been it's been so much positive and so much good and so much information and awareness, like uh, more self-awareness of what's going on with me and my medical condition and my body that I'm honestly still processing it and I think I will be for a long time to come. It's, it's, oh, I can't pick just one. I might have to list a couple of things. Sorry to cheat on this question, but um, meeting other people with my condition has been huge. Learning what's worked for them and what's hasn't has been huge. Even all of us getting together to discuss, like, um, the things that didn't go well, the times we've had experiences with doctors or health stuff that went any, like, as far from well as it could have. Uh, just meeting other people who've had those experiences is like therapeutic in and of itself. The one-on-one -on -one consultation with the doctor was really informative and informative for me and my hematologist back home because she sent me here with questions also because it's, it's kind of hard to find a specialist in this condition. Um, and then just the openness of all of the doctors who were here to answer questions, not just when they're presenting, but afterwards, like being swarmed by all these, like all these people who have questions and this is an opportunity to ask them. Everything, getting my monkey. My favorite thing I've done this weekend was probably getting our monkeys see people again after five years. I'm um, coming to this hotel. Um, getting the stuffed animals and making cupcakes. Seeing everybody again and meeting new people because I haven't seen everybody since like 2018 because like COVID and stuff. Wow, the network helps me build a support community for sure. It's, it's almost like the network itself is a support community because it's you're connecting with other people who have the condition and there's people who are working to help everybody connect with each other and connect us with specialists from all over the country and I guess possibly even the world of the people who have neutropenia seem to be from all over the world and that is like, that is amazing like that is not something that I would have been able to do on my own and then in addition to everyone getting to be here together like the neutropenics and the loved ones of neutropenics and all the medical professionals who specialize in this there's also the online community which was huge for me because I was diagnosed neutropenic kind of right before COVID and I was stuck at home and like being online a lot finding the NNN on Facebook and just having that community to ask questions to people who've been through what I was going through was a huge supportive experience for me. It's having someone to talk to that's going through the same thing that I am going through or at least similar that they have a little bit of information out there that I can like at least Google and find something. And if not, you can call and have somebody to talk to. It's not like this big organization that you have to go through this answer machine, that answer machine, or that you can literally have someone to talk to, email back and forth with. So that's how they have. 
Something that I wish people knew about living with neutropenia is that it is an invisible illness. So while I may not always present as sick, I often feel very tired and I don't have energy to do things that a lot of people do. And it's generally just uh, people not believing necessarily. They're, you kind of tell them about it, they're like, oh, I see you. Oh, what do I wish people knew about living with neutropenia? I think, I think my best answer for that would be that I wish people knew neutropenia existed. <laughs> and I include doctors in that because early on, one of the frustrating experiences I had with doctors was that they would tell me, well, neutropenia is very common. I have lots of neutropenic patients. And it took me a while to find the, the information and the words and just also the, um, the ability, because it, it, there's a lot of like anxiety on my end trying to figure out what was happening, um, to be able to communicate to doctors that there is a really, really big difference between someone who has neutropenia because they're going through chemo versus someone who has neutropenia for another reason, whether it's genetic or autoimmune or idiopathic. And a lot of that, um, sometimes you meet uh, people, whether they're like civilians or doctors who just can't or don't want to understand. And then sometimes you meet people who really do want to try to understand and open their minds to it and learn more about it. So really it's just awareness in general that, that we exist and we're everywhere and there's not a lot of us, but we're around. <laughs> Um, it makes me feel better by knowing that there's a lot of other people that have the same uh, condition I do and that they are similar to me. Um, kids camp and this retreat has made me feel better about neutropenia because it shows me that I have a loving community that will support me and we can all talk about neutropenia and our similar experiences. I'm okay with being alone but also with other kids that have neutropenia. Um, um, I'm okay with that, so I would say yes, I'm, um, I mean, happy. I, uh, like the kids camp because it's supportive of kids and siblings that have, uh, neutropenia or supportive of their siblings that have neutropenia and it raises money for cures and helps, just helps and makes kids with neutropenia feel like they're not alone. It also helps me make sure that I don't feel like I know other people have it. It's not just me and I'm not alone and the neutropenia kids. It makes me feel better because I know that there's a community with similar experience to me and can relate to me as like a lot of people back home like do not know what's going on. So it makes me feel better that um, there's like people like me out there and A well, cure for neutropenia would mean to me is that my son's life expectancy and his ability to adjust to things would be so much better than it is now. Like, he wouldn't be so prone to getting sick. He can just go out here and live a better life. Um, his life is okay right now, but I believe it could be a lot better if there was a cure for it. And then he wouldn't have to take shots as much as he do. He wouldn't have to have doctor's appointments. He wouldn't have to have all these blood draws getting poked and prodded. A cure would really help all this. A cure for neutropenia. Uh, I mean, it's hard for me to say what, what that would mean to me because it's hard for me to even wrap my head around it. It, it would be life-changing for a lot of people, um, possibly myself included. I think the th Thing about neutropenia is that uh, there's different types. It's not just like chemo neutropenia versus non-chemo neutropenia. Like it seems like the people who have a genetic mutation, it's a different situation, different type of cure, autoimmune, different situation. In my case, it's idiopathic, which is like who knows what it is or what a cure would be. I think for me, if I if I got a cure, it would involve having to figure out why I'm neutropenic in the first place but let's pretend that happened. A cure would change my life. Um, I'm limited in some ways, uh, 
less so now that there's a medication that I know of that I take, the GCSF, I inject myself every day, but it does need to be refrigerated. I love to travel and I haven't been able to travel as much as I would like because it's just a bit more complicated to travel with a medication that needs to be refrigerated. Um, but I'm still grateful that it exists and there are coolers and stuff like that, it, but it's still a little bit more tricky and I also just feel tired so frequently, um, but all of that is loads better than constantly getting infections, which is how it used to be before the diagnosis and before regularly taking the medication. So it really would be life changing if there was a cure found. Um, I think that a lot of people don't really um, know about Neutropenia and if this word could really get out about it, I would it would be grateful. Like doctors who don't understand it wish to push you away and make you think that you cuckoo for your cocoa puffs. If there could be more like teaching for the doctors to know about the Neutropenia would kind of help out a lot to like give us more access to getting to this network if they it's just I just want to be able to help and figure out how that I can help other people and have other people um, come to this because I believe there's a lot of people out there who probably have neutropenia or have had neutropenia that didn't know and I believe that if going forward if a lot of people knew about it a lot of people could be saved that's what I needed I love learning about new scientific advances and I'm very excited about gene editing. Um, I first heard about CRISPR, I think it was earlier this year or last year, and I, I am not a scientist myself, but the little bit that I do understand, I'm really, really excited about. I don't, I don't personally have a genetic mutation that I know of, but again, my condition's idiopathic, so maybe a few years from now there's going to be a new mutation that we know of, so gene editing might be something that's feasible for my future, in which case sign me up for the trial, like I'm all about scientific advancement. and. I am happy to help out in any way that I can. At this point, I am excited for, um, for all the neutropenic people who do have gene mutations because this is possibly uh, something that could be a cure in the, in the near future. So I'm all for it. I have no qualms or hesitation about this sort of scientific advancement.